All right, I just got off work. I just put my boots on. On today's adventure, we're gonna go camp in the cold. Look, camp ready? I think so. I just got here to this camp spot. It is getting dark, so I'm gonna set up everything. The tent's almost set up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the end. All right. The camp is all set up. Uh, in case it rains, because I think it's gonna rain tomorrow. I'm not really sure what time. What time? Right now it's pretty cold. It's getting colder. I needed to think on the think on the fly, and you know, like tonight, I heard this big old boom and I thought it was thunder but it was actually a shotgun probably because this whole area is also a hunting area too but I heard that and I was like oh shoot I better hurry up and set up the start before it starts to rain it's pretty sturdy I mean I'm not sure how sturdy it is because you never know until it starts to get windy and then you'll see how these pretty much hold up they can either collapse or just stay there <laughs> because one time I went camping and I had to set it up three times because it was super windy. <laughs> Sorry if I'm mumbling my words, it's because it's getting cold. Why don't we take a look? See, it's my backpack. Ignore those underwear. Here's my pee container. Yes, I use a pee container. Here is the kitchen. I've got my kitchen here set up. I've got the... Um, kettle that Rachel gave me for Christmas. Thanks, Rachel. Got my burner, got my light, got oatmeal, got this awesome mug that Valerie, one of my friends and co-worker, gave to me for Christmas. And I got some snacks there. Got some pockets up here. I don't know if I'll use them, but uh, yeah. And then I've got the air vents up there. I've got my portable heater here, uh, just in case. It gets too cold, I'll use it, but if not, I'm fine. I do like the cold. And that's it, really. I've got my chair. And I've got the fireplace right here. I've got some wood that I gathered from around the campsite. When I drove down here, I didn't know what to expect because, you know, it's one of those weekends where you think there's going to be a lot of people, but because of the weather... I don't think so, but it's just beautiful out here. I hear coyotes. I hear coyotes. I hear coyotes. It's annoying people pick your shit up. I'm going to close up my Jeep. I'm going to go for a walk, probably eat. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I was going to go over there. It's actually darker than what it looks like. And I heard like some sort of cat or something in the woods so i'm gonna head back i mean hey if i was getting attacked i just throw my sandwich and say here have a bucky's sandwich <laughs> i'm gonna settle in watch some movies and hit the sack i'm pretty tired i got up at five this morning got off work and just headed here and actually took me it took me an hour extra to get here because gps reset itself and it sent me to blue river but it was a street in the middle of nowhere literally these beautiful country roads though I'll see y'all in the morning. Two and three. It is morning. I just got up and uh, yeah, I'm going to make some breakfast uh, oatmeal and then I'm going to probably see what the weather's going to be like and if it's going to rain. I'll probably just stay in here. I mean, stay under the tarp. I put a tarp outside.
Check this out, this is awesome. This is why I do what I do. Spots like these are highlights of my adventure that I can share with y'all. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful out here. It's cold, but you know what? When you're looking at this beauty here, it doesn't really uh, feel that cold. You know what's really interesting is the root systems. They act as stairs. That's pretty cool. This food smells delicious, and I just tasted a piece of the chicken. The chicken is cooked to perfection. It's really, real, real juicy, actually. Not if you can see it, but it's real juicy. Mm. Oh man, that is good. Now it is raining a little, just drizzling. Oof. Oh. It's hot. <laughs> this is one of many highlights of camping is being able to cook outdoors. It just has a different feel to it. And um, when you're cooking, you don't really have a lot of stuff that you would have in the kitchen. So you kind of make do with what you do have because a lot of times I do forget to bring things. But uh, yeah, it makes it work out and it's just amazing. And I want to thank all of you for joining me again on one of my awesome adventures. Until next time, Rome with Jeep.